Before jumping in into a mixing or mastering session, there are a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. First of all, you want to have a focus, end goal. And then you want to make a decision on which tools are going to get you there. Which means you should make informed decisions about the tools that you choose. For this master, we're going to hear how the Liverpool Tube Compressor enhanced the mix. The Liverpool Tube Compressor was designed by Groove Hill Audio, in which they took the Altec Lansing 436C, also available with Antelope Audio, as a starting point. Now this is not a direct clone, but the result is an all-tube feedback design. You're going to notice a few familiar controls on this compressor, such as input, threshold, attack, recovery, and output. And then you have your power switch. Now what's interesting about the Liverpool is the way that the input and the threshold interact with one another. Let me give you an example. By running a 1K tone, we can see on our spectrum analyzer that this is a pure signal. Now watch what happens when we run it through the Liverpool. You start seeing some harmonic distortion. So there's a couple of ways that you can approach on using this tube compressor. If you're going for a clean signal, I suggest to keep the input volume low and then adjust your threshold for compression. But if you want to bring out more of that harmonic distortion or harmonic saturation, you can do the opposite. You can bring down your output and turn up your input. Then when you start applying compression, you're going to see the harmonic saturation take place. This is what the 1K tone looks like before the compressor and after the Liverpool. So with that information in mind, we're going to use the Liverpool to add a little bit of harmonic saturation to our master. 